So I'm Annika. And uh, I'm Hatem. I'm 22. I'm actually a law student from Germany and I'm going to be studying in Istanbul for the next two semesters. And I am an electrical electronic engineer. I would uh, consider myself a migrant because circumstances just forced me to be here in a way or another. Discrimination basically is everywhere. Here, of course, uh, as an Arabic speaker, I really face some um, discrimination. Uh, from time to time, I would see people staring at us uh, if we speak in Arabic. Even at a point, we were trying to avoid speaking Arabic in public transportation, for instance. People make comments. Yeah, of course, people make like comments. Like what do they say? Like they would uh, come and tell you, go back to your country. Here is Turkey, you speak Turkish with us. I have a lot of friends that are from Syria, and the main problem for them is that they can't find flat. Like they can't find a they can't find housing. All they need to hear is like a foreign name, and when they see a foreign face, like black hair and a beard then they're already like, no, like, I'm sorry, it doesn't work out. Which is really hard because then also they, they have to live outside of the city because they can't get in the city because of the rent situation and all that kind of stuff. And then it's, once again, it's like separated. People are living outside and I'm not really, you know, in the city center. It's such an international um, problem. In Turkey, we face this really, really a lot. You're far and you say yes, and they say like, oh, I'm so sorry, but we do not give apartments. They would say it clearly. I mean, this is kind of a strict rule for them that we do not uh, give um, migrants or um, foreigners. So many countries, they basically try to um, uh, put them in a circle uh, where they stay away from the society because, I mean, for example, even in Israel, building their own prison by themselves because um, a lot of African uh, immigrants that they go to Israel and basically they treat them really, really bad or they basically do not accept them as um, immigrants or the ones that are seeking political asylum as well. It's all intentional though. Like, I don't know, I don't know why it's that way. Maybe I feel like, maybe it's, it can be explained by, okay, people are just scared of something that is different. As you said, it's also a phenomenon just to keep the people separate from you. Just like in, in Heidelberg, there's this one like refugee camp that is really like outside the city. It's like a real village, like a new place, like a new city, almost. Uh, a lot of migrants, they basically build their own um, yes, neighborhoods yes. and district. Well, yes. I mean, you forced this. You were <laughs> pushing course. them out of your districts and so on. Right, what were you expecting? What would you do? Like you're pushing them out and then now they stay by themselves. Like that's what you did, you know, intentionally. As a young person, I guess uh, as much as you can uh, uh, break stereotypes and show people that uh, the things are not uh, the way that they show you in media or the, um, all these ideas that you have, and then in all of a sudden you would realize if you meet people that they basically break these stereotypes, um, you would realize that uh, these things that were basically not true. It's also like a fact that even in Germany, like uh, regions of Germany that have a really problem with the right wing and stuff like this, discrimination and shit, they're really the regions that have like the least refugees in whole Germany. So it's like almost proven to me now that meeting people kind of makes you a better person, I guess. So like you really start, like, start to connect as you And of course not to be, not to be um, silent. Whenever you see uh, such, um, such racism or uh, discrimination, you need to uh, step uh, and you need to speak out. Because as a, a young person, um, as an individual, you're a part of the society. And if you accept these things happening around you, surrounding you, surrounding your family, surrounding your friends, surrounding even your, your kids, I really think um, then you're basically accepting it for yourself and accepting it for everybody else.